this is Chris, and I want to take you on a little tour of one of our geothermal well field installations. Israel brought his backhoe onto this project in the Texas Hill Country after the vertical geothermal well loops had already been drilled. Carefully excavating out a four foot deep trench along the line of loops, he wants to make sure all of the loop piping is buried deep enough that it stands the least danger of getting damaged later on. Once the trenching is complete, Israel and I begin the tedious process of heat fusing all the pipe connections together. Using a butt fusion alignment machine, we clamp the ends of the pipe together and carefully shave off the faces of the two pipes so they are exactly parallel. Once the surfaces meet precisely in the machine, we insert the 500 degree polyethylene welding iron. We hold the iron in long enough to melt back the pipe, remove it, and clamp the two ends together, allowing the joint to cool. All of our piping installers have been trained and certified by the International Ground Source Heat Pump Association for fusion. We approach this process of the installation with great care. Once these pipes have been buried, digging them up again to repair a faulty fusion is nearly impossible, especially when they are covered with four feet of dirt in a concrete driveway. After a proper butt fusion weld, just like a welded steel joint, under a burst pressure test, the pipe will fail before the weld. After the pipe fusions have all been made, the loop is under a pressure test for several hours. Israel and I take this time to carefully measure out and plot the location of each wellhead from two permanent locations near the field. In this case, we use two distinct corners on either end of the house. If necessary, in the future, the position of each wellhead could be triangulated and precisely located. As we prepare to backfill, we place bags of sand on some of the loops to gently keep the pipe laying in the bottom of the trench. One last joint inspection before the gravel goes in. The connections of each well to the main supply and return lines were done with a sidewall fusion process where we fuse a fitting right on the side of the line then drill out the inside, creating a T. It is critical to purge all of the air from the geothermal loop piping. We flush the loop with a constant flow of high velocity water. This process breaks loose air bubbles and any debris inadvertently left in the pipe. Air bubbles rise to the surface of the barrel and dissipate. Debris can be skimmed off. Using a small diameter gravel or sand, we bed all the pipe in a soft protective layer with all the large, sharp rocks removed that might harm the loop. About a foot or two from the surface, while backfilling the trench, we lay out a line of copper tracer wire and a brightly colored caution tape that will alert anyone digging in the area that there is pipe buried below. We do our best to level the dirt after it is all put back into the trench, but we'll leave the final landscaping up to others. There's often a mound of dirt left that will need to settle in the rain. Then grass or other landscaping, driveways or sidewalks can be installed right over the top. Once the house is complete, no one will be able to tell that buried deep in the ground beneath their feet is one of the most efficient sources of heating and cooling on the planet. The earth stores the heat we send into it all summer long, then gives it back in the winter.